Hey everyone, Swa here. Shout out to Michi and Hidden Street for asking me to do this vid for custom crouch and prone animations for VR chat. So first off, we're gonna jump into our avatar descriptor, go down to our playable layers and click to add a custom base animator controller. So next, we're gonna come over to the search field in our assets and type in locomotion and duplicate the default VRChat animator controller and rename that to whatever we want. Now this animator controller houses all of the different states for walking, crouching, and the prone animations for our avatar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the crouch and locate all of these blend trees, which house all the different poses for our avatar and duplicate all three of those. And after they're duplicated, we're gonna click and drag all of those into our main avatar folder. And we're going to rename each one so we can differentiate those from the default VRChat animator controller and blend trees. All right, so next after duplicating and renaming those, we're gonna dive into the animator controller and replace each one of these states with the newly named and duplicated blend trees we just made. So after reassigning all of those, we're gonna double click into our crouch state and click on the blend tree. And we can see this houses all of the pose animations for our crouch. After that, we're gonna click on the little dot, which brings up the animation for the state for our crouch. And we're gonna look through some of these sit animation poses that come with the SDK. And I think I actually like this one that has the cross-legged. So when we go into uh, the crouch state in either desktop or half body, it will automatically switch to this cross-legged sit for our crouch. All right, so after assigning that crouch animation, we are going to come into our prone blend tree, and we're gonna do a little bit more editing for our prone animation. So we're gonna to need to come in, duplicate the default prone, because we're gonna make a few edits to make it our own pose. So after duplicating and renaming that animation clip, we're gonna uncheck all of the bake into pose options so that the animation will allow us to edit the position of the avatar. So we're gonna click and drag that animation clip into the still state. And we are going to then assign our animator controller to the main animator so that we can see all of our animation edits in real time within the animation timeline. So we're gonna first click on our avatar in the hierarchy so that we get the option to pull up our animator controller. And when we come over to the animation tab, we can see all of the animation clips that are associated with our avatar. And the one we're gonna edit right now is going to be that custom crawl, which is going to be our prone. So I've sped up this clip just because it took me a minute to figure out kind of the silly pose that I wanted to give my avatar while he was in his prone. So yours will vary based off of however you want your avatar to be positioned. Also quick note, if you'd like to avoid your avatar clipping into the floor, I recommend editing your avatar in orthographic so that you can see where the grid of the floor is. One of the most important things to remember after finishing posing your avatar is to come in and click the name of the animation clip again to reset your avatar to the T-Pose. So lastly, we're gonna come back into all of the states for our locomotions, and we're gonna add what's called a tracking control to each animation layer. Basically what this does is it ensures that when you get down to your prone animation, which is much lower, and your head may be in a different position, it ensures that the animation will completely take over. So you wanna make sure that the tracking control for the prone is set to animation for that state 
or else you might get some wonky and weird stuff happening, which happened to me without a tracking control like this. Whoops. After all of that, we're gonna come back in and remove our animator controller from our top level animator. Then we're gonna come back into our avatar descriptor, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna fill the base layer, the playable layers with our finished animator controller. After all that, we're gonna build and test. So there is our crouch and there is our prone. And now we have fully customized crouch and prone animations. Again, big shout out to Hidden and Michi requesting this tutorial. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of my patrons who continue to support me through all of the content that I do create. I appreciate each and every one of you and I can't wait to see what 2022 holds in store for all of us. Thank you.